I'm Carrie George with CIBN TV, and I am excited today because I have with me my guest, and we're going to be talking about your health is your wealth. So you're going to want to stay with us and not miss a beat. <laughs> Coach Cam, Kamla Dazraf is actually coming in uh, in person today to talk about your health is your wealth. Welcome, Coach Cam. Glad that you could be here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carrie. Awesome. I'm happy so to be here. I know, yes, and I know that we've been talking about how important it is to live a healthy lifestyle because what good will it do you if you have all the money in the world but you have forfeited your health right so we want to have a as healthy of a lifestyle as we can and i know as entrepreneurs and busy business people it is so easy to put the health on the back burner because we're in the middle of the hunt so tell us um coach cam what can we do as an individual to have better health well, well, I'm going to focus on the women for a little bit because we're talking to women and it's, you know, like you said, we have all this to do, all this to do in our list. It's not about the fighting the tiger. It's about traffic. It's about how we function as entrepreneurs, business women and business people. So um, uh, I'm very happy to be here. That's my feel in uh, health and nutrition. So what can we do? That's the question. We can start with the beginning of the day, you know, as we open our eyes, we open our eyes, we see we're in a house, we're in a palace, we're in a trailer, we're in a cabin, where we are, we open our eyes and we say, thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for, you know, whatever you have, your health, your, your whatever situation you are, you just started by, by being thankful and grateful. That That's where I would start. And then you say, okay, what kind of day? Ho hopefully you don't have kids to take to the bus and the alarm and all that stuff. Get up about five minutes earlier and you, you figure out how you're going to run your day because you are the creator of your day. So here you go. OK, um, I've got to pack the lunch. I've got to catch the bus. You know, you, you kind of start your day off. And from that, where we go to, OK, what are we going to put in our bodies? You know, we get up. Some of us get up hungry. Some of us maybe want to wait or we want to do this fasting thing, whatever we want to do. So we, we think, OK, what are we going to put in our bodies? Now, as our system, our body uh, processed the food from the night before, it's empty and it has acid. So we don't want to put a soda, a milkshake, coffee, something sugary because it's all acidic anyway. So now, you know, that's the nutrition. That's where I would say is the key to how we're going to, you know, control the rest of our day. So we put something um, nutritious in our stomach, not coffee or juice or something because it's already acidic. I myself do hot warm water and then I can add lemon or whatever it is that your body, you know, your body, first of all. So we go into what we're going to eat for the rest of the day. And, you know, when we go to the restaurant, they give us a salad because a salad is a salad is something light that we introduce to our stomach, especially, you know, like a lunch. We want to put in a little bit of greens, a little bit of, you know, um, broccoli or whatever, something light, you know, a salad, whatever you like in your salad. Um, we go to the salad and then if you eat meat or vegetable, you start with a, a vegetable, you start with a starch, you know, you, you, you there's a certain way we eat to first coat our stomach and then tell our body because our brain is telling our stomach, hey, you know, this is just a, a soup. Or this is just a, a piece of meat. Okay, this is how we process it. So that's basically the the long and short of just what we put in our body. Of course, what we think about, what we see, our environment. It's not like okay, I'm catching my breakfast or my lunch in on traffic, you know, because that you set yourself up to really have you know stomach ache and different digestion problem. So um um 
so far do you have any questions yeah no well i was just thinking as you're talking that i think that routine must be incredibly important in this process right um exactly it, it, that's what that's what i'm hearing you say like so as a woman in business i should set a routine for myself and then that would help me to you know stay more on track rather than just winging it Oh, winging it is just the wings. <laughs> it's not doing, it's not, you know, it's not serving you as a, a, a person. So, of course, that's the, I that's that. the, I was, I was just thinking that because I, I would tell people in the sales training all the time that winging it is for KSC. Uh, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's not really a good process in sales. And I can see it's not a good process in life, really. I mean, if we're just winging it, we're waking up in the morning and we're just, we don't have a plan. We didn't set ourselves up for success the night before then the reality is we're just going to go to the fridge and do what we've always done. We're going to reach for the thing, whether that is coffee or toast or cereal or, which I think cereal is probably incredibly bad for you. It's, it's like, but it's, it's kind of what we have done over the years, whatever we have done, you know, whatever is normal for us, for some people, it might be a chocolate bar, right? Yeah, so they, they need the sugar. They need that sugar. Exactly. Yeah, to break the routine and set a new routine, we have to set ourselves up for that routine. And, and basically what um, mentors or coaches are there for, it's to help you before you get to the surgery, before you get to the, you know, like, what have I been doing? So there's there's thousands of us out there that you can look for someone that can help you in that specific reason, whether it's health or wealth or relationship. So that's something that I want to get into now, which is more like a tip. I don't want to be like those TV and they give you a whole hour of, of the situation. Then, you know, like, okay, me, call your doctor or, you know, look, find out more. So what I can give you as a tip, if um, we can start with that, and then we can, you can ask me more question is we want to think about our emotions besides, you know, the stomach, our emotion, where is our emotion? If we, if we worried about the war, if we worried about, you know, the kids, if we worried, we want to try something which is very simple. It's called EFT. EFT is, uh, it's what it is. It says E for emotion, freedom technique. So, you know, like I can, you can see something on the news or you can see something on one of those media platform and you're like, you know, it's funny, it's serious, there's a fire. So you have an emotion, you know, you're thinking about, oh my goodness, how is those people managing without a home? So that's the emotion. So this, this, this tip is going to help you, whether it's for health or, or finance or anything, you think about what it is that you're working on. And I can, I might go a little too fast. You think about what you want. Let's say you're afraid of um going to your, uh, this new job or you you have this you know not in your stomach because you're going on a date whatever it is you think about it and then you think about okay this is what i'm thinking about i'm afraid of this so there's something called um a setup statement which is you have energy points on the side of your arm your your hand and you have these other points and you think about acupuncture you know there's meridian points so there's one here the middle of the forehead, the side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the, the bottom lip, the collarbone, and right under the, the arm. It's called the, for the spleen. So you think about what your what the the issue that you want to deal with. Then you go, okay, I'm afraid of this new job. I'm afraid of, you know, it's fear. So I'm afraid. You, you do your, your hands like this. This is the setup statement. Okay, so then you go, this is two simple steps and you can cut it down once you get used to it. She goes, I'm afraid of this job. I'm so afraid of this job. I'm afraid what's going to happen. You put it in your system because you're rewiring your brain. So once you get that, and, and it, it takes practice, there's um, practitioners on YouTube or whatever and you know whoever you want to learn from. So you do that and then you go, even though I have, and this last sentence men have a problem with it so think about it even though i am afraid of this new job i deeply and completely love and accept myself now by just saying that you're you're telling yourself you know i got this you are good uh, you're good to go um whatever it is you can handle it so once you go through that now you tap um five to seven times on these points you know you take your time and you do that and then once that's done, you go, 
the top of your head, which is like the soft spot for the babies, you tap, thank you so much for taking away this, this nutty feeling, this pit, you know, this feeling in my stomach, this nervousness. Thank you. You know, you thank you, you thank whoever you want to thank your parents, God, you know, you thank you so much to the universe for taking away this pain. Thank you so much for making this a little bit easier. And uh, I forgot to tell you two things. You start with drinking some water. You assess what what the, the feel, it's one to 10. So you assess, okay, it's a 10, it's a five, you know, whatever you're feeling. So once you do that one time, two times, three times, that number starts to drop. Um, got me so far? Yeah, yeah. So, so you would do this in a stressful situation. In a stressful, in um, uh, like if you having like not not so much stress. Because even if you're going on on a date or something, and you your date is like um, a little bit weird, and you're like you know, I'm a little bit nervous. So it's not the brain don't know it's a, a positive excitement or a negative excitement. So you want to you know bring yourself down instead of reaching for a pill or a drink or something. Try to work with your house, your body, and treat it really with respect and love. So, yes, stressful situation because that's the emotion we are. Usually when we're happy, we don't look for, um, you know, something to fix us. You know, we're just celebrating. So Right, um, right. That's what but we, we, yeah, when in a stressful situation, we're thinking about it. But you're right. Yeah, an excitement. You know, you're on a job interview and you're excited to be there. Maybe you're not so scared. You're just excited. But that makes you talk too much. It makes your your, your voice is too high pitched, you know, or you're going to be on a television program. I see, I've seen this, um, particularly women, we get onto a television program, a radio program, and we don't realize that our voice actually sounds high pitched anyway. And then we get excited and we're like, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so happy. Blah, 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 blah. And people are like, oh, I can hardly understand you. So I can see how that would ground you and make you feel like, okay, hi, I'm Carrie George. And said, hi, I'm Carrie George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, like, you know how we say we assess our day, what we're going to do, if that's the interview day, then we might want to tap in some, you know, some points there that we could, we could, we got this, you know, we can do it. I mean, no matter what, if the job isn't available anymore, I mean, okay, we just go with the flow and look for another job or another situation. So yeah, I love yes, the affirmations, um, though, as you're doing it, like you're saying this positive thing and reprogramming your brain. Is that kind of like neuro-linguistic programming? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the tapping on acupuncture points, the meridians. We have meridians running all the way from the top of our head all the way down. And the energies is cross anyway. You know, I, I don't know if people understand or know this, that if you're feeling pain on your right knee, it's your through your left side and it goes the opposite way. It's a little bit of um, energy tapping that um, EFT um, just uses. Awesome. So uh, I was just thinking about, you know, how could we avoid putting ourselves into the stressful position in the first place? Like, how could we avoid the the health problems that could come up through these kinds of things? It's It starts at the beginning. You know, I mean, it's not really, I'm not trying to blame parents, but if the parents have the responsibility to teach the children at the age, and then when they go out into the world, um, they know a little bit different. So if you start your day off and you did your meditation, you, you did your exercise, you know, you start your day off because that's how it's all, you know, it could fall apart. You know, something can happen. We can have a shower. We can do, you know, like a rain shower or a storm. So there's different things. So if you start your day off with that calm, you know, your armor, whatever it is you carry, you know, your smile, being calm, saying, okay, that's the situation. I have these tools that I could use. You know, um, I carry an umbrella or a taxi broke down. I'll call, you know, have a backup call. You know, if you can start just your day off like that now, you don't, you don't run from being a baby, just being born to do some um, the Olympics. So you start off slowly. You know, every day you try one different thing, but one different thing, and you you do need guidance. There's all sorts of people out there to guide you, whether it's in nutrition, finance, whatever you're doing. So um, if you can take those moments to set yourself up for the day, um, it's a win-win situation. But it takes time. Nothing nothing is done overnight. You know, I like that because I think that all change happens step by step. But I love that, you're, again, coming back to the routine. I mean, we set the routine. You set the plan. You do the step by step. 
you know, and you just keep coming back to the beginning. I, I have found over the years that like, for example, if I go on a diet, all right, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about changing the way that I eat or my lifestyle, I find how I set myself up in the morning really dictates how successful I am. If I set myself up for a good day, then the whole day seems to go well. But if I'm, you know, get knocked off track, something happens, or I didn't plan the night before and I'm winging it, that's where it gets derailed. And I find that if you get derailed in the morning, it kind of messes up the rest of the day. It's not like you, I, I personally haven't been able to go at three o'clock in the afternoon going, well, let's do a reset now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I you can't get up and go. Exactly. You can't get up and say, you know, it's late and oh crap, you know, I mean, I'm going to be late. And then your whole day just, you know, tumbles down. So it's, it, it's exactly true. You prepare the night before, you know, you get, you know, the, the thing about it that people get so um, caught up with all the stuff that's going outside that they're not um, solid with themselves. If you take care of you with, you know, if everybody did that, you know, adult, I'm not talking about kids. If every adult could take care of themselves, this is going to be like a, a different world. But they depend on what this one say and what happened in the media and everything else. And you're not, you're not, you're not, you can't function if you depend on other people or the things. So if right. we can come back to ourselves and just take care of our health and just be mindful of how you, you treat your body, how you treat your environment, you know, it's, it's, we have the house of the body. We have the house of where we live in, and then they have the our house of the earth. So be kind to yourself and to others. It's, it's some that's of the great. oldest things. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. And I, and I think that it's incredibly important. I think sometimes we're not kind to ourselves. And uh, the voices in our head, we let them, you know, have their way with us and uh, distract <laughs> us from what we should be doing because we're thinking about how this didn't go right. And, oh, I'm always like that and that kind of stuff and the negatives. So that's awesome. Turn that around and uh, start with a plan and use those affirmations and the tapping. That's excellent. So what would you think is the most important thing to do first thing in the morning? When you get out of bed and your feet hit the floor, what should be step one? After you give thanks and after you know what your day is going to be, you you proceed with, you know, I mean, not rushing because rushing is going to get you into trouble. So if you do your routine, like I said, if you want to have breakfast, whatever you want to eat, you know, choose nutritious things to put in your body. Know, like know that, okay, I'm having this Twinkie or this piece of pie. <laughs> it's full of sugar and sugar is more addicting than cocaine. You know, you have to educate yourself as adults because then, you know, I mean, there's all this stuff on YouTube and the social media that's like, okay, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I had enough. I don't know what to do. I'll just go take a, have a, have a sandwich or something, you know, so um, do those things that you put in your body that, you know, like if you probably 60s, 70s, 80s, you, you need to move. I mean, if you, if you don't, if you sit on the couch and you watch soap operas or TV, you're not going to be healthy. So move, move your body, whether it's, it's for a walk, get out in nature. I mean, nature gives us so much besides oxygen. It gives us a change of, um, you know, perspective. So you, you smile at the trees, you smile at your kids, you smile because that changed your whole, your whole, your whole energy. It's, it changes, um, you know, how we look at life. Smile. People don't smile. People don't breathe. They just, and they don't read from their belly. There's simple, simple things. We have the eyesight, we have the air, which is the most important thing. You're breathing, you breathe, you smile, you laugh, you enjoy life because this is the only one you have. So do things with, um, you know, not with tenseness, just relax a little bit more. Be more, be more kind, be more patient to you because this is the only person you have. So be nice. You know, okay, so I've I've made a little plan here based off of what you said. So this is how I'm going to start my day now. Uh, number one, give thanks. Number two, have a look at what the day you ha have ahead of you before you leave the bed. What's going on today? Number three, a good breakfast that is nutritious and thought uh, nutritious and thought out, not just winging it, but you you thought about as an adult what's good for me. Smile, get moving today, breathe, enjoy life, have intent, 
and most of all, be good to yourself. I love it. Well, thank you, Coach Cam, for being with me today. I think that that is a great takeaway. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, it's, it can get and more I'm complicated. Gonna, yes, it can get more complicated. Your, um, so yes. this is going up on CIBN TV on YouTube. And um, on our YouTube channel, we are going to put your contact information and stuff like that underneath the video as well. So if you're watching this, you can find it at CIBN TV on YouTube. Uh, and we'll put it up there with all of Coach Cam's contact information because she is your guide to success, your guide to living with intent and a healthy life. And your health is your wealth. So you want to make sure that you look after yourself and uh, she can help you with that. So thank you so much for being here with me today. And uh, we're looking forward to having future conversations with you. All right. Let's have a great day. And remember, in Coach Cam's words, be good to yourself out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>